What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jesse B. with Pop Chunk Toys, and today we are featuring Moon Studios Moonshine. Now, this is their take on the Lightspeed Commander himself, Suki, or Suke, or something like that, whatever. I cannot pronounce it right, so please don't butcher me on that, uh, or take my word for it. <laughs> All right, so basically, this is the Moon Studios version of the train bots, and this is the upper torso here. I'm very excited to get it. Uh, I got the other two coming uh, sometime. I know I'm very late to this party, but yet I'm getting it into my collection, and now it's here. So, very cool. All right, it says MS04 right here. It says Moonshine Moon Studio right here. You get the nice picture of the robot himself. Let's see, there you go. And then you got a nice alt mode picture of the train. Got a picture of him on the side. Looking good. It says MS04 Moonshine. On the back, you got to look what I can do. Very nice. Very cool. On the side, you got a nice picture of the train. Alt mode. On the bottom, a whole bunch of nothing. All right, let's get this open. All right, no plastic to cut, just cardboard carton. Inside we have plastic clamshell. Okay, first it looks like we got instructions. Never really use them, but that's what they look like. All right. So we're here he is in his plastic imprisonment and some accessories. Bot mode right here. Got some nice little weight to him. And the big shield in the back. All right, let me get him out of the packaging. Be right back. All righty, folks, and we're back. And we got Moonshine here, suited, booted, ready to rock and roll. Check it out. Very, very cool looking robot here. I've heard many, many stories of this guy being like maybe one of the worst components of the uh, Moon Studio series here. But mine seems to be legitly cool I'm, I'm almost glad i waited no looseness i've seen uh where the ankles are super loose and whatnot and things the only thing that's kind of loose on for me is maybe like trying to get this to sit straight or something but maybe there's a i'm just doing something wrong but uh other than that i would say it was very uh difficult to peel the plastics off i don't know if it was because the uh, it's just been sitting for so long or the temperature of my house because sometimes you know it gets very hot here in the in the valley uh the the plastic was almost like a tape i had a really hard time i was pulling very carefully to separate it from the actual pa uh, paint job itself luckily I, I i got away with uh not peeling off any paint so you know cool all right first up for accessories you get the cup links for the connectors for the trains just like everybody else, you got the double link. Just like before, you got the magnets in here. You can hear them. Very nicely done. And probably be just as hard to get in as everything else. Hopefully the support for this wasn't uh, would be not as, or be strong, should I say. But that's that. Next up, you get his blaster rifle. A decent sculpt, not too bad. Got, got some breakup with silver in there. Uh, got some sculpt work all around. Looks pretty cool. Not too bad. Awesome. Next up, you get the giant shield for the chest plate. Looking very cool. Looks just like you know the front end of the of the train here. Very nicely done. Can't wait to get this on. Awesome. All right. As for Moonshine himself, 
like I showed earlier, I was glad that I didn't get anything um, like super loose or anything. This guy's nice and tight. The other thing I find unsightly is the way they did these forearms. I'm hoping that I maybe did something wrong, but I can't find anything that says I'm wrong. <laughs> but those forearms being split like that is just, I don't know. Hopefully it's character design or something, but unfortunately that is unsightly. But as for the character, looking great. You got all the silvers, the blues, the metallic eyes in there, the metallic blue in there. You got the grays, yellows. Um, silver paint is done very well. Got the black in there. Got a nice hep, hep to them. Uh, pretty weighty for being a, a, a top piece. It's done nice. The blues on there look good. All around looking like a great bot. Is probably um, bot wise looks pretty cool. I, I, do, I do like the way his design is for for bot mode. All right, as for articulation, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get the so so, you can spin it all the way around, you can look up, you can look down. Uh, this is a tension sh uh, shoulder and uh, you got the Oops, hold on. It's a little tight here, so it wants to pull everything. You got you got the, the bicep swivel in there. You got a double jointed elbow. Gets you past the 90. You got the, the hinge right here and the hinge on top of this. And then, does it have a lower? No, no, okay. For the hand, it will swivel around. You have um, a ball joint and a base pin right here for the thumb. And for here, you have the base pin in here, or is it ball joint? It's ball joint, sorry. Ball joints all in there, and a single hinge that gives you great articulation, all that you need. Done very well. This guy wants to come apart every time he's so stiff. Miss that right there. For the shoulder, it will come up. You just lift that up here, get you up there. You can stick it straight out. It's kind of, uh, is that a butterfly in there? You kind of use it like a butterfly because it will swing across his chest, like so. That's cool. Like I said, folks, I, I kind of open these up and see it for the first time just like you do, so. Uh, Bear with me if I'm missing something. On the, uh, there's a swivel in there for the waist. They have ab crunch. And he has ab crunch. Very nice. Okay. For the hip skirt, it will move up right there. And then for the back, you just kind of move the back panels out of the way. You got a soft ratchet for the front kick. Moves to the back. Gives you good range. Just tension up for the booyah kick. Boom! For the knee. Is it, I was gonna say is it doubled, but no, it's a single hinge. It's a good 90 in there. And it will rotate at the knee. And upper thigh too will give you some rotation too as well. Very nice. As this starts to come all apart, <laughs> the ankle will rock in there. And it's on a hinge in here, so it's nice and tight. For the toe, get you some down. Get you some up. And no swivel or nothing. Nothing for the heel spur. So not bad, great articulation for this figure. All right, let's get some size comparisons in. Moving to the back. All right, first up, we have DS Thundercracker. You see they're pretty big boys in there. We have MPRC.
He's a small gal. Next up we have Hannibal. Well, Hannibal is pretty big too, so that, you know, we just straighten him out. He's actually pretty tall. Shows you how big Hannibal is. And then for another contending combiner piece, we have Kang's Toys, Lambo. And that's it for my size comparisons. Let's get them transformed. We'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, and we're back, and we got Moonshine here, sitting and booted, ready to rock and roll in his alt mode. And I gotta say, it's another nice looking bullet train. The cool thing is, is that it almost looks just like the other one. It's just, it, it transforms differently. So, which is really cool because that basically uh, keeps it fun. You know, it's not the same uh, mold. And everything you got the nice uh, silver, the pearl white in here, the little yellows, the blues. Silver's done fantastically, very nicely done. Another uh, excellent piece by Moon Studio here. I, I did enjoy this one. Like I said, I was happy to uh, get it, and uh, it's pretty fair condition, not loose or anything like that. Everything kind of just went where it needed to go. Which is very cool. Uh, the transformation on this is a pain in the you know what right here. Uh, for some reason, it was just a, it's very uh, panelly and finicky to to be get, getting stuff uh, all nice and suited. But once you do get it in, it goes in just fine. In the back here, add the cup link right here where you could connect all the trains together. And if you notice, this guy is the leader because he doesn't have one in the front so definitely a front car or an end piece looks good all the way around another excellent piece for your collection and the big shield will connect on top if you want it so so you just clip it in like that and you could have a super shield bullet train where it could fly because it has wings now. Like, nah, <laughs> play. But it does uh, clip on if you just like, if you wanted to. Alrighty, folks, and we're back for size comparisons. And here we got X Transbots, Streetwise. And you can see that's a nice big train there. And then we got Bobo School's Tank Former. And you can see it's still a pretty good size, you know, train bot. All right, let's get uh, one of the brothers in here of Raiden himself. There we go. And you can see we're gonna have to back him up because this fella, the two body parts are really well, actually, the thighs and the thighs and legs are really big. And you can see that that is how they size up together, and they do look good. Very nice. All right, that's it for my size comparisons. Now, as for third mode, I will not be showing it on this one because it will be in for my rating uh, review. Alrighty, folks, and we're back for the final minute. So basically, if you're not in on this set or you're on the fence or anything like that, this is turning out to be a great uh, combiner. Another good knockout from like the Zeta uh, Toy World type, you know, combiners. And, you know, I hope that they continue making, you know, such great combiners because, you know, they really know what they're doing. And these guys are the first ones that are not super part forming and they kind of make their own uh you know body form and whatnot just using all the parts but you know it actually works out pretty good and it seems to be legit i mean i've seen all the other pictures and stuff like that it looks very good i got the other two pieces coming in soon so i hope you guys return for that Alrighty, folks this will start to conclude my video here with moonshine i hope you enjoyed the video as much as i did if you haven't yet please hit the like and subscribe it does help out my channel this is jesse b signing out till next time y'all have a good one